ECUs, or electronic control units, control just about every system on the vehicle. And the information that is kept in their memories is critical to their ability to operate these systems. That memory can be wiped out in an instant anytime the battery is disconnected. So learn how to keep that memory alive in today's Mighty Minute. That could be something relatively minor, like the radio presets for the infotainment system, or more critical, like the values learned in the ECM that govern engine drivability, or even occupant safety. And every time that we disconnect the battery, whether it's to replace it or perform some other related service on the vehicle, we put those memories at risk unless we take steps to protect it. Keeping the memory alive, though, is easy using a special tool like this one. It's called a memory saver. And it's designed to allow us to connect an alternative 12 volt power supply to the systems while the battery is being disconnected. The connection point of choice, the DLC, the diagnostic link connector, the same place that you connect a scan tool. Why the DLC? Well, pins number four and number five are grounds while well, pin 16 on the DLC has battery voltage present at all times regardless of the power mode in use or the position of the ignition key. It's like jumping to the battery terminals themselves. Memory savers are available from a number of sources. Look for a memory saver that is designed to work with your existing 12 volt jump box or has its own dedicated 12 volt power supply. Stay away from any memory savers you see advertised that rely on a 9 volt battery as the power source or are designed to be plugged into a cigarette lighter or power outlet in order to connect to the system. Access the DLC, then connect your memory saver to the power supply, a charged jump box or 12 volt battery. Some models like this one will have an indicator to let you know that you have a good connection. Next, connect the memory saver to the DLC. Now we can disconnect the battery, but be sure to always wear your personal protective equipment when performing any battery related service. Always disconnect the negative battery terminal first. Then disconnect the positive battery terminal. Now here's where you have to pay attention. The positive battery cable is still hot, now powered by the alternate 12 volt power supply we just connected with the memory saver. Be sure to isolate the cable end to prevent it from accidentally shorting to ground. A shop rag and some electrical tape work just fine. When you're ready to install the new battery or reconnect the existing one, just follow these steps in reverse. Take a moment to check the radio presets as one way to verify that your memory save was successful. Thanks for watching.